What is the outlook for the global economy? Let's find out immediately with you, Yves Lutovsky. Welcome. Hello. You are the chief economist of COFAS. What are your key takeaways today regarding the outlook for the global economy? Where do we stand today? But we see that global growth is very different amongst countries. Uh, we see finally that the US and Japan uh, resist quite well. Uh, we see a slowdown in emerging economies, but not as big as expected. And uh, we see, of course, a very serious recession in the Eurozone. And what we believe is that in the second part of the year, we will see this contrast, uh, uh, even bigger contrast. Uh, and we will see that uh, there might be a rebound of growth in emerging economy thanks to all the policies that uh, emerging leaders have followed in the, second, in the first half of the, of the year. And as far as the Eurozone is concerned, we believe that the recession will uh, increase, uh, especially in Italy, in Spain, but we might also see a small recession in France. In your country risk panorama, you focus on the theme of the bailout of Spanish banks. Is bailing out Spanish banks tantamount to saving Spain? Uh, in a way, yes. We believe that the banking reform is clearly the key aspect of solution of the Spanish problem. Uh, the situation in Spain is that you have uh, a too large private debt. And uh, as uh, we needed to restructure the public debt in Greece, I think a restructuring of the private debt in Spain is needed. Uh, of course, this private debt now is in the balance sheets of the banks. So what has to be done is to, in fact, take out uh, this big debt, this private debt, this private credit, and of course uh, put it in, a, in what we call a, an AMCs or a separate entity, and then restructure this package. And I think this is the only way uh, which we can expect a little growth in Spain. Not the kind of growth, of course, that Spain enjoyed in the 90s or 2000s, but at least uh, it could help Spain to go out of recession. Another focus point of your country risk panorama is China. Are Chinese corporates today the beneficiaries, or on the contrary, the collateral victims of the economic policies of the Chinese government? Uh, what we have seen in COFAS, because we are a credit insurer, so we are very much concerned about uh, payment experience of corporates, is that Chinese corporates are extremely vulnerable uh, to switch in macro policy in, in China. Uh, especially when the monetary policy is expansionist, when of course it's, it's good in a way for corporates who enjoy a lot of credits, but I'd, on the other way, if, if there is a, a more restrictive policy, the private sector in, in China would suffer from, from ac some difficult access to credit. So right now, I would say that the, the monetary policy in China is on hold. I mean, uh, we don't know exactly what it's going to be, but it might be a little more expansionist in the second half of the year because you know that the the first half of the year has been marked by a slowdown in China. So we believe that the, the, the policy of the government will be a little more expansionist in terms especially of access to credit. So we believe that the second half of the year may be a good year for corporates despite the external shock coming from Europe. Yves Lotowski, Chief Economist of COFAS, thank you very much. Thank you, Adrian.